Hi, Myra. Oh, the girls are coming up looking cute tonight. Hold up now. I'm you trying. Look beautiful. Thank you. How are Ladies you doing tonight? I'm good. The girls are coming up looking. Hold up now. What's going on? I'm we on a different side of TikTok, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, hi, my name is Myra. Um, I'm 19 years old. I just have a couple questions for you when it comes to um, dating. You can ask me one question, Miss Myra, all right? Okay, so like I said, I'm 19 and I'm currently talking to a guy who's in his 40s. As for a guy who's kind of older, I'm looking for someone who's a provider. I'm looking for someone who can help me with my college tuition and my bills and et cetera, et cetera. So how do you think I should go about asking for things without sounding like a gold digger? Myra, like <laughs> I would, you know, and I say this with love, Myra. I think you have a little of the know-how, but I think 40 is still a little bit too mature for you. I would say 40 is too mature because I think someone at 40, uh oh, who's over there? Hey, friend. No, it's just, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I, the reason I'm saying 40 is too old for 19 is because even if you think you are mature, you know everything, he can still see right through you and run circles around you, if that makes sense. Well, this is the thing. I've been dating like 20 or older since I've been like 18. Yeah, I've been dating older men for a oh, long so, time. Oh, so before 18. That's what that sounds like. Before 18. Yeah. I was 17. Yeah, yeah. I was before 17. then. Yeah, before yeah. then. Okay. okay, so some things was going on. All right. Are you in therapy, Myra? I am in therapy. Um, I don't know. I think it's just my preference. Like I see guys my age, like, you know, and they just really don't interest me. Like they don't really have a lot going on, you know, especially in the black culture today, like a typical black man today. Um, and I know there's like a good percentage, like 2%, 5% that are really good black men, but I live in St. Louis. So the men out that's like my age, they're just not for me. They're really no, not and good. I'm not saying, Myra, I want you to know this. I'm not saying, don't want to be saved, don't say God. It's a sugar baby. You know, these women, she said, 19, 25 year old guys my age ain't hitting on nothing. I would say any race of man under the age of 25 ain't making too much money. The vast majority of them. So she said, I like 40 plus sugar baby. <laughs> yes. This is crazy. And uh, a lot of these people ain't up here as far as to date. Like I said, they're up here to get advice. She mm -hmm. you know her lane. And that's why I started off the show talking about these sugar babies. Like you say, is it her fault the guy spend the money? Or should we just let them do what they do if we don't understand what's going on over there? Yeah. No, here's the thing. Like I said, I respect any game. I don't hate on no game. Just acknowledge the game that you're playing. She can't appear and she said, I got one question. She said, I mean, how I'm dating this 40 year old guy. How can I get him to pay for my college and my bills? That was her only question. She asked it straight up. The answer is pretty simple. Sugar, baby, give up some sugar. Give up sugar for the funds. That's how you do it. As she said, I, you know how, you know, she said, but <laughs> I think you're going to buy it all wrong. No, she ain't. No, she ain't. It's, it's grim. This ain't healthy. However, if this is the lane this woman wants to choose, ain't a man, woman, child, beast, angel, nor God that could change her. This is what she going to do. She said only 2% of black men are good. <laughs> her mind made up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she completely corrupted. So here we go. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you, and I'm not saying you can't date older. I'm not saying that. And because you have a bit of life experience, I think that makes us mature a little bit faster. So someone who is your age, you probably couldn't date anyway. Yeah, and um, yeah. you couldn't date. But I know you want to be with someone who is a provider. And you said you have dated older guys. Have they taken care of you in the, the past? So the guys you were with in the past who were older, were they providers? Um, honestly, when I was 17, I didn't really know how to get the back like I should have. Um, but when I was 18 years old, I kind of, you know, started to get an allowance from whoever I was talking to. 
but those relationships didn't really last and a lot of them kind of said that I've um, how can I say this? That I kind of came up as a gold digger, but it's just like, how can you expect for me to, you know, love you for you, which I can, you know, I'm in love with them, but it's like, I still have bills to pay. You know, I'm in college, I'm working part-time. You know what I mean? I feel like as, if you're financially set, why am I still paying my bills? You know, and you're older than me. So I just wanted to like, know how to gravitate towards asking him in a like polite way you know how to I would, I would assume myra that would be the expectation if he's dating someone under 21. if a 40 year old man is dating someone under 21 i would expect that would be the expectation that he already knows what he's signing up for and i'm assuming you would let him know if this has been your life experience since you were 17 i would assume you would be upfront about it right okay so you think like the second day is like kind of like hey by the way i'm kind of looking for a guy who's taking care of my expenses and like etc cetera, etc cetera. i don't think i would say i'm looking for a guy but it could be like oh i'm headed out to get my hair done oh what do you need babe you okay. know I, yeah like the first of the month is here i would assume this would be the expectation it would be, what do you need energy? I'm assuming from the, the get-go, he would be like, what do you need? Are you okay? Do you need your books for college? Is your tuition paid off? I love that white dress. How much did it cost? That's what I would assume. Okay. Okay. What but if I'm being honest, again, I'm not here to judge you. I do understand everyone has been through different things in life, yeah. but I want you to go to therapy. That doesn't mean you can't find a provider. That doesn't mean you can't do what you want to do. But I still want you to go to therapy because you are still young. And I feel like some things have happened. I'll say this, Ashley. Y'all keep telling these women to go to therapy and go get fixed. They are self-destructive. And sometimes it's game over for these women. <laughs> They cooking they self. They cooking they self don't even know it. They jumping into the hot grease. All right. And actually pushing them in. So that's where they at. Mm -mm. Poor mud bug. Yes. This is an escort at best. She know her lane. And Ashley kind of told her, say, get therapy. Like I said, that's just kind of talking points at this point, man. Get therapy. And she said, you can do what you want. You can still get you a provider, i.e. sugar daddy. You can still do what you want, i.e. 304 round. Just, just get therapy in the process. Be a healthy 304. Good advice. <laughs> Man, these sisters. Is this is sad. Where's her father? Hmm. She grown now. Nah. Yeah. She out there. Yeah. Ain't no reverse in the hands of this. Hmm, yeah, so all. I see y'all talking about underage. and Listen. If the police went up on her right now and arrested her, she's going to jail. Huh. I'm not going to ask where your parents at. There you go. <laughs> huh. Appreciate you. Okella Dunkley says she's trolling. Is this camera on me? Yes, it is. She ain't trolling, brother. She for real. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hit the like button. Right. I know. I, um, I see a lot of people in the comments. I know a lot of people are saying like 40 is a lot, but I've dated like really really older guys like older than that and it's it's traumatizing because like i said i was really really young so yeah, and it made me grow up a little fast yeah it made me grow up a lot of fast because i didn't have a father figure in my household so it's like i have daddy issues i have some you know i just but i i i want to love for love but i also want to make sure that i'm financially okay you know absolutely absolutely and i think every woman should that should be important right you want a man who can provide who's financially responsible of course but again like you said you have been through some things and because you're under 21 i can't put i can't just emphasize this enough you need to go to therapy and take it serious i know you're gonna do what you want to do right yeah but please take it serious i'm not saying you can't date or who you can't date but if you're dating someone older, that should be the expectation. I'm assuming they already know what they're signing up for. That's what I would assume. There's yeah. no way they're dating someone under the age of 21 
and they're 40 and they don't know what they're signing up for. Right, right. Do you think it's okay to ask for like a set allowance? I have you done that in the past? I have, um, but I've also had an experience where someone just gave it to me, like whenever I seen them, you know, kind of deal. What happened with that guy? Why didn't that work out? Um, so because I think he said that I was just, I think he kind of got tired of me because he gave me a lot of money, but I just never was, I was never intimate with him. And I think he kind of got tired of that because I was, I was kind of manipulating him in ways and trying to make him feel good without, and of course, without going in the bedroom because I was not attracted to him at all. You know, he was, he was really older. So I just, you know, and that lasted for like eight months or so, but then he just, on someone else that was able to give him what he was looking for so right but my question to you Myra is it sounds like your experience you know what to ask you know what to do if yeah. you were able to get money out of a man and you just use the word manipulated you know exactly what you need to do so what are you really asking what you doing up here Myra I'm okay the only thing I'm asking is does it sound like a gold digger or like a HOE if I'm asking like the new guy the new guy that I'm talking to now he has he's probably one of the richest guys I've ever talked to so I'm kind of without seeming like a gold digger because it seems like that's what he deals with but so, if you dated a if you dated a guy in the past who was rich who was giving you money before why are you so intimidated now to ask this man for money my god sugar baby on the loose <laughs> listen this she being very transparent she like this this ninja i got now this suck i got now he got the most bread i never dealt with i can't screw this up she said i'm out here i'm striking out i'm trying to manipulate old timers without giving up the cuda cat they get tired of me she said but i got one how can i get resources from him ashley grand grand genie ashley how can i get resources from this man without giving him my cuda cat how can i swindle him and manipulate him speak it to the mic ash <laughs> this is yeah 19 been out here all these years like you said ashley's theory is this i see so y'all Ash, like these women gonna do what they want anyway. So she's just trying to give some type of advice. You know what I mean? I I can respect her approach because yes. you can't save these people. That's what I'd be stressing. Can't save them. That's what we're saying. Can't save them. Can't change them. Like, thank you, Ash. She did say something that made sense. You're gonna do what you want to do, and that's a fact. <laughs> she already on this road. She's sitting up here talking about getting money from guys being traumatized being with guys much older than 40. she out here in these streets like before said, she was 18. <laughs> so she know the game what is she trying to do she's trying to play two games she's trying to be a she's trying to be a non-sugar giving sugar baby she thinks she's so fine that she could just, you know, be around. I don't know. I don't know that wicked, goofy game. But she thinks she can get resources without giving up sugar. So I guess she want to keep herself to herself so when she get older, she can get married as a reformed, non-sugar giving sugar baby. Yeah, yeah, this is a rough one. Yeah, because it ain't so, even if Ashley told her to stop, she ain't about to hang this phone up and stop tricking. So best thing Ashley could do is tell her to make the men wear condoms or something. That'd be the best advice she could get. With condom? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Tony Bones. Says, where is her daddy? Her real daddy. Even as young as she is, it's over. Like it, it, it ain't the church ain't nothing gonna work. Ain't nothing saving this woman. And listen, this is the type of young woman. She's still a woman. It's the type of young woman that will get with you and be like, hey, you ain't making enough. I'm gonna start this OF. Or I'm going to go on this assignment. I'll be back and I'm going to bring back a little bag. Don't ask no questions. I tell you no lies. That's what she That's is. That's all. And at the end of the day, they only going to give but mild pushback. Like you said, it's money over everything. And they get into a hell of a bag. And they are not about to upset the apple cart. So nope. that's what we say about Kendra. They ain't about to hold these women accountable or say anything too much that these young ladies don't want to hear. They're going to give a little bit of pushback. And they know when to tone it down. This is wicked. 
Yeah, this I'm telling y'all, these ladies are a case study forever in the future. This demeanor, this hyena, this masculinity, this 304 behavior, this ain't normal. This is godless. <laughs> You've dated men who gave you money, just gave it to you. So what makes him so different? Does he have way more money? Is he a different race, a different culture? What is it that's making you intimidated? I think it's his money. Like I've talked, I mean, yeah, I've talked to a couple millionaires, but I, I think he's more than that. And it's, it's really intimidating. You know what I mean? Well, you like him. You like I him. do, I do. All the guys that I do talk to, by the way, for the people in the comments, I actually do love them. Um, I don't try to make it seem like I'm a sugar baby or anything like these men. Like I try to meet their families. So I try to meet their kids and, you know, try and be in love with them. Um, but for him, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's just better to ask for something that I need rather than having like a set allowance. I yeah, just... I don't see why not ask. Yeah. Again, my thought is if we're not 21 yet, mm -hmm. that's the expectation. If he's over the age of 30 at this point for you, if yeah. he's over the age of 30, he should know the expectation. He's almost ready for AARP. He yeah. should know what he's signing up for, Myra. I know. I know. Yeah, so you should have no issues with asking. You're young. You're very, very young. Okay. Okay, well, thank you for that advice. I need to just, maybe it's just because, like, I'm just, like I said, intimidated by him, but I'm going to try to just be more upfront and just, you know, set my standards and have my boundaries. Yeah. Myra, if you can, I know you're doing therapy. What you can do is maybe we could do like a one-on-one -on -one if you're open to it. Yeah, Go to my yeah. website and sign up. Yeah, I'm yeah. serious. I, I want to talk to you, but it's a lot of people here. Right. And I don't want your business out there. So yeah, do that, Myra. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Ashley, so much. I'll Bye. hit you Bye. up. Bye-bye. Yeah. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. I know she's very young. I know she is very young, but there's a lot of young people out in this world doing things out of survival, doing things because they don't have a mother, a father, a sister, a friend. So your childhood experience is very different from someone else's. So when someone comes up here and asks me for advice, it's because I'm genuinely believe they don't have their grandmother they don't have a mother to talk to. They don't have a friend. They don't have a best friend. And this is the only way they know to survive. Now, I can give her an honest answer and say, you know what, Myra, which I did, go to therapy. Step away from that. You shouldn't date older men. But Myra is still going to do what Myra wants to do. She's still going to date the guys. Like you said, Two things is true. Like you said, you probably could have said more, but at the end of the day, it's going to go on deaf ears. And and she, she actually is not trying to stop other young ladies like her from coming up on the platform. There they, you go. So she, she, want, she don't want a woman that's about to click the button to join the thing. Oh, that last girl that went up there, she, she was giving her smoke. I don't want to be embarrassed. They want everybody to feel welcome so more people can come up and they can keep making money. Yeah, granted. Not not mad at you at all. Hey, oh, like you said, nor is take like I said, I don't think Ashley has the uh responsibility to try to nope. fix these 304s. I don't think that's mm -hmm. on her. Nope. Or Kendra, ain't, like you said, it is what it is. They ain't listening to her, they ain't listening to her nor Kendra. They doing their job. Yes, they're going as far as they can. I'm surprised that Ashley has evolved and started giving this much pushback and advice. I'm surprised. There we go. She they trying. I guess, but yeah, like like Gavin said, she could have said more, just ain't her place. But we gonna say more. We gonna tell you, young sister, think about the future, y'all, young ladies, thinking y'all can have a three o four and sugar baby face. Like Cape should say, what does life or dating look like in your fifties? And that's a trick question. All right, you ain't supposed to be dating in your fifties. Supposed to have been settled down, and that's what they need to think about, sugar baby. 304 phase or having the ability and chance to settle down in your middle age choose one like we say if they already grown good luck if i yeah. if y'all been around long enough y'all hear us mm -hmm. talking about the women that can be saved or either still in the stomachs or they can't speak english yet they can't talk 
Like mm-hmm. you said, a lot of these women are grown, so they're going to do what they want. Y'all, hmm. can, y'all can check on them and all that. But they still going to hang the phone up and go do what they want. Man, and that's a fact. And when it all come crumbling down, and even though you try to give them some sound advice, they're going to come to you to bail them out. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> she's too deep in. So if she's already doing it, all we can do is give her advice. To be safe, of course, to make good decisions, but is she still going to do what she wants to do? I know y'all like to think that everyone grew up like you did, but they haven't. They haven't. Everyone does not have a grandmother or a mother. They don't. They don't. Mm -mm. They do not. Okay? So before y'all start judging, mm -hmm, please keep that in mind. And if a young woman, if if you are 19, if you are 19, dating a 35, 45, 55 year old man, teenager, exactly, dating a, he should already know. And that's why I said to Myra, he can see right through you. A 40 year old man can see right through you. She's like, no, no, I've dated them all my life. Well, if that was the case, you would know how to ask them for money. If that was the case, it would be no issue with you saying, hey, give me this now. So he he's still gaming you in a way is what I'm saying. And what we said earlier, this woman is cooked. She cooked herself. That's <laughs> it. At 19, cooked, cooked. Ain't no coming back from that. I w- if that young sister, it's unfortunate, was to stop cold turkey with her antics. See what I'm saying? Like, understand how grim it is. Understand how cooked her software is. If she was to stop right now, you're telling me she's going to live out the rest of her existence, stand on the straight and narrow? She ain't going to relapse <laughs> when tabs get tough? Yeah, right. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> you haven't lived long, yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Myra, I look forward to speaking to you. And the reason why I don't dig too deep is because there's almost 2,000 people here. And we don't want everyone's business out here. And we know request to join the live, beautiful people. Request to join the live. She's playing a dangerous game, K. I think she's been doing this since she was about 14 or 13 or even before then. Okay. People have been through a lot of trauma in their life. A lot of trauma. And shout out to Ashley. Women know other women. That's That was my whole take on it. And that's why Ashley didn't give her no pushback. Because she like, I know you've been doing this for five, six years. There's nothing I'm going to say to you right now that's going to change your mind. Ashley, Ashley can, look. A 304? No, a 304. And she like, look, I know you've been out there, folk. You ain't just start doing this yesterday. I'm talking to you. I can hear it. I see. I'm looking in your eyes. Actually, she said she's been doing it probably since she was 14. You know? <laughs> uh, heck, the sister's first. She opened up very clear. How can I get this man to pay for my college tuition and all my bills? Shit, then we know what we're dealing with. <laughs> Sick work. So as far as she go, what was we at here? This post sister. To come up here and she sugar said, baby, sugar baby, come on now. This is this here we go. We at the crossroads now. She's so daggone young. She kind of default without her story to catch a release because she's so she younger. She's nineteen. I don't know now, about that. Oh, she <laughs> hell, no, she no catch a release. That's what I was no, I said all the time out. I was saying by her age, by her age, by her age, she would default to that. Let me finish. <laughs> now, uh, I said, but, I, <laughs> that was too long winded. You got to spit that out fast. Yeah, hey, how, however, she uh, that 304 mentality. I really want these young sisters to understand your age can't save you. 19, there is no grace period for being no 304. It ain't. So, with that saying. Ain't no catch and release. Is she doomed? She out of here. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to go ahead and kick her down the hole and keep it moving, folks. 19 down the hole, but that's it. <laughs> Can't right. save her. Fuck is you talking about? 
This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. <laughs> Over for that, poor sister. It is Q in the pit at 19, Q. That's what it is. That's, that's, that is one of the scariest things, I think, when it's seen up here at 19. She ain't even old enough to drink, my sweet lord, legally. And she in the pit. Young ladies, please, please, please do better.